Hello again. This video is the wrap up of everything that we have learned on the module 2. So, a quick summary of everything that we have learned here it's the hardware details of the RTL. Now we know what's inside the black box of the RTL. Also, we have learned about how to use MATLAB and Simulink. Now we know its environments, how to work with them. And we have seen that, especially Simulink, it's a very powerful tool to work with the RTL, very easy to use with a learning curve very, very smooth. Also, we have learned how to set up and config the RTL drivers. This is a sometimes complicated task. So do not hesitate to request help from MATLAB or from other students or professors of this course. Also, we have started to receive data from the air. By now, we have only received raw data from the air and also the data, the location data that the planes around us, the aircrafts around us broadcast. So we have been able to track some planes around us. Remember that the RTL SDR belongs to the second SDR generation. This means that it's also needed, it's still needed the intermediate frequency. The baseband processing is done in MATLAB with a PC. This device, the RTL, uses the Realtek 2832U chip, chipset. And remember that it was originally designed to receive television signals, but with some modification, it's able to receive, to work as a general purpose receiver. The only drawback is that this SDR device only receives. It's not able to transmit anything. But the good thing, the good point here is that there are many signals out there available to receive. These are some packaging, some different packages for the same RTL device. And remember that we have 8-bit resolution in baseband, both in phase and quadrature branches. The maximum sampling frequency is 2.8 MHz. Perhaps you can have a slightly higher value, but you will suffer from losses in your data. The maximum frequency, the maximum radio frequency that you will be able to receive is 1.7 or maybe 1.8 GHz. And also the two fundamental components of the RTL SDR are the RF front end and the demodulator. The first one is typically the Rafael Micro R822T. And the demodulator is typically the Realtek RTL 2832U. This is the internal stages of this RTL. You can see on the left the analog part and in the right, the, the digital part. It's important to remember that the output goes to your computer through the USB port, and, you, and that you can tune three parameters, the gain, the sampling frequency, and the center frequency, the radio frequency. This is what happens to the signal from radio frequency to baseband. It suffers two changes in frequency from radio frequency to intermediate and from intermediate frequency to baseband. In each stage, a lot of things happen to this signal. Some of them by the RTL and some of them by the analog tuner. The sampling and decimation. This is very important because the RTL SDR actually samples the signal at a higher rate, at 28.8 MHz, and then it decimates the signal. So what we control is the decimation factor. To end this phase, we need to remember the Nyquist theorem, which needs us to sample the signal at a rate twice the maximum bandwidth of the signal. 
we have learned about the MATLAB environment and also the Simulink environment and we have checked some useful commands to work with the RTL. The first one allows us, the step command allows us to receive data. The second one to change the RTL parameters and the info to check the value of these parameters. We strongly suggest you to use the help and also to play a lot with the parameters. Once you feel comfortable with one parameter, try to change it and to see what happens. This will let you know a lot about communications, radio and so on. We have seen some examples, some powerful examples on Simulink. In the next module, we will see more of them. And finally, we have tracked some planes. I hope that this example will let you know the power of this RTL tool. And finally, if you are here, you already know the basics of digital signal processing, MATLAB, Simulink, software-defined radio, antennas, and many other things. So with this knowledge, now you are able to do a lot of things with the RTL and with other tools. So now that we have learned all these things, let's get our hands dirty going doing s much more cool things. Let's go to module three. We'll wait from, for you here. Thank you very much for your attention.